Use widgets to define the contents of your service portal pages. You can use base system widgets, clone and modify them, or create custom widgets based on your organization's needs. Base system widgets are included with service portal. These widgets are read-only. Use the shortcut Control right click to open the widget context menu. The widget context menu includes key items like instance options to configure the widget instance. Show widget customizations to see which widgets on the page are cloned or customized and widget options schema to define additional instance options. Select Instance in Page Editor or Widget in Editor to edit a page or widget. You can also configure scope data and scope logging options. Select Show Widget Customizations to view the customization levels of widgets on a portal page. Widgets are color-coded based on their customization. Green signifies a base widget, yellow a cloned widget, blue a new widget, and red a customized widget. Open the context menu again and select Instance Options to configure an instance of a widget. The Instance window appears. All widget instances are connected to a base widget. Any changes made to a base widget will also result in changes occurring in its widget instance. From the Instance Options, you can make changes specific to a widget instance and only that widget instance will be impacted. In this case, we'll increase the number of topics that appear in the widget to 12 and save the changes. The changes are now reflected in the portal. Select Page in Designer from the context menu to create a widget instance by adding a widget to a page. We'll add a simple list widget to the page by dragging and dropping it under the My Favorites widget. Select the Edit icon to configure the widget instance. We'll edit this widget instance to a timed worked simple list widget. Then save the changes. The updated time worked simple list widget appears with the new data. Navigate to the service portal configuration page to open the widget editor and clone widgets. Cloned widgets are custom widgets. These widgets don't benefit from future updates to the widgets they were cloned from. Select an existing widget from the widget drop-down list. The widget details appear. Select the context menu, then clone icon link to clone the widget. Enter the name for the cloned widget and then select submit. Next, select the new widget from the widget drop-down menu to open and edit its details. The cloned widget's HTML template, CSS, Client script and server script are displayed, and you can now make changes to this widget. Let's update the HTML template and the CSS, and then save those changes. Back on the Service Portal Designer page, you can add the cloned widget to the portal and edit its options. In this case, we want to compare and replace the instance of the icon link widget that already appears on the page with the custom cloned version. The cloned widget appears with the updated HTML, CSS, and instance options. The base system instance and the cloned widget instance have noticeable differences, like the size of the text and the location of the icon. You can select the trash icon to delete the instance of the base widget. Use widgets in Service Portal to create a customizable experience that benefits the needs of your organization and your users. To learn more, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.